and reverence for the Holy Eucharist in America could come down to how faithfully the bishops decide to protect it from public figures, especially politicians, who advance abortion. San Francisco's Archbishop Salvatore Cordelioni is gently pushing to bar pro-abort politicians from receiving Holy Communion. As Church Militant's Trey Blanton highlights in his report here, his roundtable this past week, Life in the Womb, the preeminent issue, that was one of the major topics. When people say they are pro-life except in cases of rape, I am offended that my child is not seen as worthy of life in their eyes. Catholic pro-life advocates united on a video conference Friday to stress the importance of life. Corleone emphasized the evil of abortion. They're in a state of mortal sin, uh, objectively speaking, and uh, therefore should not present themselves for Holy Communion. He has not yet, however, fought the evil in his own archdiocese by banning pro-aborts like House Speaker Nancy Pelosi from sacrilegiously receiving the Eucharist. Other speakers included Kristen Hawkins, president of Students for Life of America, and Lila Rose, president of Live Action. But the standout speakers were a young man who was conceived through rape and his mother who chose life. Kathy Folan knows the trauma going through a young woman's mind. This was not a part of the well-executed plan of my life and it wasn't my fault. Bolin found the strength and support to choose adoption for Nathan Sullivan, who has started a business and is soon to be married. Everybody who's been around the pro-life movement has heard, and a lot of them will say, except in cases of rape. Um, but I want to make sure that everybody knows that, that those are real people too, right? And I am that person. I am that case. Abortion is, without exception, evil. Those who support it are not in communion with the Catholic Church and thus should not receive the body and blood of Christ. Trey Blanton, Church Milton Evening News, Detroit. The U.S. Conference of Catholic Bishops will meet this June to discuss the issue of withholding communion from pro-aborts. Discuss it. The conference, however, has no authority over individual bishops who decide what happens in their own dioceses.